In the modern definition, lean is many things, among which is, but not limited to, a practice, a usable set of tools, and also a philosophy. Combined all in one, the principle focuses on boosting quality as well as reducing unneeded supply chain steps to a bare minimum in the pursuit of optimizing their customers' needs. The two primary principles are just in time and Jidoka, the latter of which is defined as a lean automation process. The two are well known as the pillars of a set philosophy. However, there are always more tools and principles to be used. In our case, we have gone with waste elimination oriented principle called MUDA. Concentrating on eight lean manufacturing waste in a convenient acronym called downtime, which stands for defects or production, waiting, not utilizing talent, transportation, inventory excess, uh, motion waste, and excess processing. Uh, in our case specifically, we use the following for elimination the defects, efforts caused by a rework, scraps, and incorrect information. Overproduction that is more than needed or before it is needed. Waiting or wasted time for the next uh, step in the process. In game scenario, there were six stages of widget production. Each member of our group had one task to do. Everyone was good at their job. We have noticed that the most problematic process is heat treatment buff, where we had to roll the dice to find out either the widget is broken or not. There was around 33% of chance that the widget is broken. At this point, our wastage was 5 widgets. That gives us around 250 to 500 pounds loss in sales. To improve our supply chain, we decided to buy new raw materials in 4 colors for 130 pounds each and blue stickers for 70 pounds as we ran out of them. For the old materials, we paid 80 pounds for 8 sets so it is about £10 for one set. For the new ones, we paid £130 for 12 sets. It gives us price £10.83p for one set. We can see that the price is slightly higher for new raw materials. However, we totally eliminated the wastage in heat treatment wrap process. It was a good change for our supply chain as we eliminated wastage in production, but also we increased efficiency and timing because the new materials were printed together on the sheet, so it was easier to cut at the first stage of the production guillotine. It was at least one less cut for each material. Also, as we didn't have to roll the dice and wait two minutes until the buff is ready for another, the process of heat treatment buff took less time than before. So what is Agile? Agility is defined as a strategy that's more responsive in a volatile marketplace where the strategy is totally demonstrative. The KPI for product supplies are cost, delivery and quality and all of them have a direct relationship in terms of agility on the customer's satisfaction and probably in market. Comparatively, in Agile P, I'm just going to quickly run through two main bullet points of the comparison. When it comes to lean supply or logistics for focus, it's more about eliminating waste and reducing costs and not having too many metrics. Whereas Agile is more about flexibility and adapting to the market changes in order to fulfill for customer demand. When it comes to partnership, Lean would be more in long term commitment, stability towards the business, whereas Agile approach would put people in the middle, but personality traits and emotions play a very important part in the process. Scrum framework is one of the most agile ways by which a project, a project can be managed. Scrum teams are not managed by anyone but rather the self-organization where everyone is treated equally even though their responsibilities may differ. The Scrum team is divided into three main primary roles, Product Owner, Scrum Master and the Scrum Team. We as experienced working over the Agile team uh, with Scrum Framework in week six where we had to go through the game scenario. We didn't really have a Product Owner but we did have a Scrum Master who gave us a little bit of guidance and we all worked as an Agile team um, together to design and carry out the process. Our approach, we decided to make brief sales and operations planning analysis. The results were the decision to produce logo branded widgets because it was a form of recognition, creating the logo maturity and advantage. 
to the market of brand as it's continuously explored within the public eye. In the best case, the forecast was equal to two widgets and three widgets in the worst case to break the even. It seems a nice opportunity for us because of the collaboration with brands and high gross profit. Hello, my name is Maxim and I will speak about agility, risk and financial analysis, which is necessary to understand the decisions we made and, understand, and <coughs> decisions we would like to make to improve agility in the future. This part will include uh, what would we do in order to improve agility in the future overall cost analysis of these improvements and uh, how we managed our stock. In order to improve agility for the future, we will need to upgrade production stages, such as acquire improved heat treatment bus to eliminate a failure and reduce an operation time. Due to the technological specifics of the new HTB, speed and amount of units produced will increase and the market responsiveness would increase as well. A combined assembly stage 2 and 3 Eliminate the failure, reduce operation time by three minutes, and freeze up one person. The freed person should be added to the delivery and speed up the delivery process. That's important for the timely response to the market volatility, which is a core of agility. An upgraded assembly stage one saves us three and a half minutes and eliminate probability of the failure again. An overall cost analysis showed us that altogether such change, including a new logo widget process, and would have a fixed cost of 1,850 pounds plus 130 pounds times number of sheets with raw materials, and the overall probability of failure is 0 0.028. If the failure will happen wherever it's possible. The result will be a delay for two minutes and a loss of one unit. Such upgrades would guarantee us that we can maintain a full stock and direct to the market demand rapidly. And the last part is stock management. To meet the requirements of agility, we implemented the concept of postponement. The concept of form postponement, which is widely used to improve responsiveness, can be explained as a delay until customer orders are received. These actions are related to the agile strategy such as wait and see approach to customer demand, but n by not committing the final product until actual demand becomes known. In our case, it was implemented to labeling and assembly process, taking into account that our storage had a capacity of 12 widgets, including every kind of widget. We had an opportunity to respond to, to volatile demand through capacity and inventory buffers without our production. So now we are going to speak about uh, Charlie's supplier case. So from a financial point of view, Charlie is a big company. But when you take a closer look, you realize that Charlie is just a sum of business units, which all have very different characteristics. Also, the ICCM system works well for the transmission of information. It allows, for instance, the transmission of orders and invoices between business units. However, the fact that business units don't have the same ERP generates error. These errors take a long time to be corrected and hamper the efficiency of the company. Therefore, our recommendation is to develop an ERP common to all business units. Second, in order to help uh, Charlie's to be more efficient, we have chosen two technologies. One is artificial intelligence and second is robotics. Those innovations present many, be many benefits but also high risk. So in this table, we have to, uh, tried to summarize all the benefits and risks. So for artificial intelligence, we have uh, the fact that as a artificial intelligence highlight correct errors as soon as possible, but, and also allow to meet all the requirements of the customer, but also too much confidence in the artificial intelligence uh, if errors are discovered too late, the consequences are more serious. Uh, concerning uh, robotics, the benefit is uh, it's more productive, more reliable than an employee, and less error in a repetitive task. Uh, and uh, furthermore, the risk is uh, nothing except of uh, the purchase price was uh, very expensive. We're going to be looking at the technological recommendations for Charlie Supply. So currently they use ERP and ICCL and 
that has an increased amount of errors in the order, invoices and products, which can be costly and deter any new consumers and clients buying from Charlie Supply. So to combat that, we've decided to switch to cloud computing, uh, which makes sure that the business runs smoothly uh, to, and it will provide a simple and effective interface between vendors and clients. And some of the advantages are there's an uptime of 99.9%. .9%. Employees can tap in whenever they want to go to work as well as uh, ensuring that the information gets delivered within seconds. Um, third aspects of development, Green Planet was a restaurant that has been uh, signed up to Charlie's in recently, which uh, specialised in organic food and using environmentally uh, friendly products. So what we've decided that Charlie's in is raw materials which are recycled. 